Okay guys, so good morning and uh, welcome to my new lesson. So for our lesson is we will be talking about the gravity. So wala mas siguro magiging problema since we have uh, a little understanding about gravity that everything must uh, everything that goes up must come down. So, so yan, everything na binabato mo upwards ay babalik din naman yan downward. So since uh, since yun naman talaga yung uh, yun yung essence of the gravity na everything na binato mo pataas will come down since uh, everything is uh, directed towards to the earth's core. But this time this is not just about the earth's core but the gravity na makikita natin in an in the outer space. So this is the gravity that we are talking about about the sun's gravity, about the about the uh, gravity ng ng moon, ng earth. So yon. So um meron akong link na ibibigay sa description dito and you may access it para mapanood mo, para mapanood ninyo yung uh, lesson about the gravity this uh, from Mark Rober and I hope na mapanood ninyo guys kasi napakalaki yung bagay nito uh, it, this is grand and uh, I cannot fathom this since uh, sobrang sobra, sobra ko na-enjoy yung panonood sa kanya and uh, very relaxing din that I even cannot comprehend how big our solar system or how big the galaxy or the universe uh, I hope guys na mapanood niyo so uh, it's in the description watch it so props and credits to uh, Mark Rober I hope na <clears throat> I hope na um uh, ma-recognize din <laughs> joke lang so it's all nonsense so yun and then let's proceed to discussing about uh, gravity so from the definition of the gravity it is the force by which uh, body draws objects, particles, or other body towards its center. Just like sabi ko nga kanina, uh, everything that you throws upward, babalik yan. Uh, kasi yung gravity natin is humahatak. Papunta sa Earth's, sa Earth's core. Okay? So everything we throw up must comes down and uh, Earth is being pulled to its center. So what we know is the uh, Earth Earth score. So, lahat ng uh, everything that you are, uh, everything that revolves uh, around the Earth. So, like the Moon, it is also pulled by the, the Earth's gravity. The same goes for us. Lahat ng nakatira dito, lahat ng nandito sa loob ng Earth ay napupul towards its uh, center. So, yun nga lang, it is just enough para sa atin so we can walk around and uh, experience uh, the life here on Earth. So, kasi isipin mo, what life without gravity? So, lahat tayo ay nakalutang lang. <laughs> and kung nakalutang lang tayo, uh, we can do nothing. Okay? So, next thing is, yeah, medyo nakalabas na yung uh, aking ididiscuss sana. It is the uh, Newton's Law of Universal Gravitation that uh, um, Newton's Law of Gravitation is uh, two bodies in space pull on each other and the force is proportional to their to the uh, product of the masses all over the distance uh, the distance squared between them okay so in a mathematical uh, state f is equal uh, f is directly proportional to mass 1 and mass 2 all over uh, the distance between them na naka square okay so from from there on pwede natin siya rewrite as uh, as this uh, formula like the first formula dito sa nasa taas yun nasa taas F is directly proportional to M1 M2 all over R squared but later on pwede natin siya magamit as our mathematical equation which is na convert natin siya from F is equals to G M1 M2 all over R squared so for this let me explain first is this there is uh, this uh, proportionality sign is cannot be used as an uh, equation sign Kasi hindi, na, hindi kasi tayo makakapag-solve, we cannot be able to solve if uh, the formula is in proportionality sign. So in this case, we have to switch it up from 
we have to switch it up from proportionality sign to equal and a constant part. Uh, ngayon is meron tayong constant dito. Instead of k or the constant, we replace it by g. Or this is what we call the gravitational constant, having a value of 6.67 times 10 raised to negative 11 newton uh, meter square per kilogram square. So we can cancel those things up and then we will arrive at the newton part. Okay, so g, don't forget, g is the gravitational constant. We have a value of 6.67 times 10 raised to negative 11. Okay, so don't forget the units. This will be uh, very useful to each and every one. Okay, so moving on, we have the gravitational field and the gravitational field strength. So when we talk about the gravitational field, it is where gravity acts. Same goes for the magnet. Um, yung magnet meron namang, uh, meron namang uh, field where it only acts. Hindi naman kapag may magnet ka dito, sa isang, sa isang bahay mo, lahat ng metal attracted na sa kanya. Okay. So, ganun din sa gravity natin. So, hindi ibig sabihin meron nag act na gravity dito. Uh, in every, kahit saan, halimbawa pumunta ka ng outer space, medyo hatak pa tayo. But, uh, go a little bit farther, go a little bit distant from the Earth, mawawala na yung gravity talaga dun. Okay? So, so yun yung ating gravitational field. Same goes for the magnetic field. Meron lang tayong certain area na uh, where our gravity or our magnetic uh, force is active. Okay, so when we talk about the field strength naman, this is uh, this is the intensity uh, on which the field has. Okay, so kung ano yung meron sa ating gravitational field. So, for example, ulit yung magnet, yung magnet. Yung magnet kasi natin is kapag alimbawa medyo malayo yung ating isang particle. Hindi siya na-attract sa magnet. Pero once na inilapit mo siya ng in inilapit ng inilapit, what's the difference kapag pumasok siya, pumasok siya sa uh, magnetic field kaysa doon sa nasa malapit na? The, the answer is wala silang pinagkaiba. Since both of them will be attracted. So, ibig sabihin, it is safe to say, sir, na wala pong pinagkaiba yung uh, force na nandun dun sa mala malayo and nandun dun sa malapit. As long as they are both in the uh, gravitational or the magnetic field. Yes, walang pinagkaiba. Since both of them from uh, from the edge of the, uh, from the edge of the magnet to the uh, to the to its extreme to its extreme ang mangyayari dyan is they have the same magnitude ng strength. Okay? So, same goes for our uh, gravity. Kung mapapanood ninyo yung kay Mark Rober, yung ninth planet is uh, in, uh, in an Earth scale, uh, yung mga gamit dito sa Earth, dun sa scale, napakalayo. But still, the sun is, um, the, but still it is rotating uh, on the sun. So, ibig sabihin, abot pa din doon yung, yung gravitational field ng sun natin. So, as far as that uh, distance, ganun kalaki yung sakop ng sun. Imagine kung mapapanood mo talaga yun. Meron pa tayo doong sun na kasing laki ng, uh, at the scale of uh, an earthly scale, kasing laki siya, kasing tangkad siya ng Empire State Building. How much more? How much more? Okay? So, here, we have the gravitational field uh, formula, which is F is equals to G M1 M over M1 M2 over R squared. So, sir, excuse me, it is the same as from before. Yes, but the thing about it is the gravitational field, uh, the gravitational field strength natin is divided by our test mass or yung ating MO. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, so, what will be the formula? What will be the formula po? So, the formula here is this. Ayan. Yung small letter G natin is what we call the uh, gravitational magnitude of the field. So, it is given as the new... Uh, it is given as the force per, per mass. Okay? So, that is our gravitational magnitude. So, in a given mass, meron tayong ganong force na 
naibigay. May ganong force na active dun sa ating gravitational field. Moving on, we have the gravitational potential energy and we have gravitational potential. So, sir, what's the difference between the gravitational potential energy and gravitational potential? So, the difference between the two is that gravitational potential, it is the energy per mass. So, in a given mass, meron tayong may bibigay, merong may bibigay na gravitational potential energy yung ating, ano, yung ating object. So, if we're going to get the gravitational potential energy, we're just going to... Uh, or just to multiply it by the mass itself para makuha natin how much is the gravitational potential energy. So that is the only difference between the two. So if you're going to look at it, meron tayo dyang naka-negative sign. Um, disregard nyo lang yon and uh, yung atin negative sign dyan is uh, typographical error. So magagamit din natin mamaya yung ating negative but let me explain later. Okay, so the formula itself is in a positive manner. Okay, so for that, uh, for the sake of the discussion first, is disregard nyo muna yung negative and I'll explain it later. Okay? Okay. So we are going back, going back, we have a formula of uh, GM1 over R. Yung R natin is the distance pa din. So we have the legend here and... Ayan, so the gravitational potential or the U is uh, GM1, M2 all over R. Okay? So, ayan. Sige. So, escape of velocity. So, uh, looking at the highlighted part is the minimum magnitude of the velocity to escape free uh, to escape or free the subject from the gravitational attraction of the particular uh, entity. Okay, so dito is it is the minimum so it is the minimum part para lang maka-escape yung ating object sa uh, maka, ma, 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 maka escape yung object natin from the binding of the gravity. Okay? So we have the formula of 1 half mv uh, mve square is equals to gm1 m2 over r. Yung m yung v natin v natin diyan is what we call the escape of escape of velocity. Escape velocity or velocity of escape. Okay, so yeah, this is the legend and manipulating this, since makikita ninyo we have M1, M2 and another M nasa kabilang side, we can cancel one of the M's na meron tayo sa M1 and M2. And since makakancel natin yung isa, we only need one mass, which is the mass of the object natin trying to escape to the binding of the gravity doon sa uh, gravitational field. Okay? So, sige. So, yan. V escape is equal to square root of 2 GM1 over R. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, naka-square root tayo and then we will be multiplying 2 to our GM1. So, na-cancel natin si M2 and the remaining mass is the mass that is going out of the binding of the gravity. Okay? So, that is our velocity of escape. So, copyin nyo guys and this will be fun and this will be uh, used in solving problems okay so satellite and planetary motion in circular orbit so this is this uh, this is the circular orbit naman uh, motion na makikita natin through the moon and to the satellites pabilog lang siya and same goes for our earth to uh, to the sun yun din yung ating rotation Okay, so uh, Earth and uh, so as the Earth moves uh, around the Sun in an orbital pattern, not only satellite moves around the Earth but also the Moon. So, yun yung ating mga uh, yun yung ating example of satellite and planetary motion in circular orbit. Kasi we are binded through the gravity ng uh, the Moon is binded through the gravity of Earth and the Earth is binded through the gravity of the Sun. Okay, so yeah, here is our formula which is the E is equals to uh, 1 half mv squared for our kinetic energy and the U of uh, or our uh, gravitational potential energy GM, uh, GM1 M2 all over 
R. Okay, so the total mechanical energy and then, sir, the question, why is it negative? So, kasi, um, the gravitational potential is always going away. That's why it is negative. Okay? So, away. So, yung direction niya is hindi naman siya towards. So, we are, uh, we are, uh, we are, we are thinking na sa palayo yung ating uh, object. Okay? And then, conservation of uh, energy. So, meron lagi tayo nito. So, what comes in always comes out. Uh, what is, uh, yun yung ating lagi makukuha dito. So, we have the formula of, uh, we have the formula of uh, kinetic energy and uh, uh, gravitational uh, potential energy initial and final. So, makukuha natin pa rin yung ating mga formulas dyan by relaying them all. So, since parehas lang naman, kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared, universal uh, your, our gravitational energy is um, gravitational energy natin is yung g m1 m2 over r. Okay? So, last is the Kepler's Law of Planetary Motion. So, meron tayo dito. Uh, three. Uh, uh, Kepler's Law of uh, Planetary Motion. So, the first is the pathway of the planet orbit around the sun. is in elliptical in shape with the sun and uh, at one focus. So, isa lang yung focus natin which is the sun and then nagre-revolve yung mga planets sa kanya. I hope guys na mapanood ninyo yung kay Mark Rover. So, nasa baba yung uh, description and yung link natin. So, you can watch it. So, an imaginary line drawn from the center of the sun to the center of the planet will sweep out equal areas at equal time. So, ibig sabihin, yung ating uh, orbit, I mean, sabihin natin there is an imaginary pathway na nagre-revolve yung ating um, yung ating Earth dun sa ating sun. Okay, and lastly, the square of the periods of any two planets is equal to the cubes of the major, semi-major semi axis of its orbit. So, since elliptical siya, hindi ibig sabihin, uh, since elliptical siya, yung mga major axis ay uh, equal. So, meron tayo major and minor axis and yun yung mga height natin. So, so I hope na na-discuss ninyo sa mathematics yung uh, major and minor uh, axis ng ellipse. So, mas madaling maintindihan kung yun ay naintindihan din ninyo. Okay? So, yeah! It is the examples part. So, I'll be putting that example part on another video. And I hope guys na panood din ninyo kasi mali nyo lumabas din sa exam natin. Okay? I hope guys you watch this. Thank you for uh, listening and peace out.